You guys, look at this. Look at all of these hangers. This is so many hangers. We are decluttering all of the things. This is insane. Hey guys, it's Jess. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a huge closet declutter. Now, when I say a huge closet declutter, I mean a huge closet declutter. I kind of skimmed and eyeballed through my closet. I have like a closet and a half. I skimmed through and there are quite a few pieces that are going to be exiting my wardrobe today. Over the last several months, I've added a ton of new pieces to my wardrobe as my style has changed, as my body has changed, as I've just kind of grown out of certain pieces and styles and things in my wardrobe. So I've added a ton of stuff in and I am such a believer in having your closet be full of stuff you love and you feel confident in and beautiful in. I want to clear out and clean out my closet of the things that I don't like and don't wear anymore and just have it be full of the things that I love to wear. And I wanna make room for that. So that's what's on the agenda for today. And today's video is actually sponsored by Verishop. Verishop is an awesome online store. They have everything from clothes to shoes to jewelry to kitchen appliances, home decor, everything you might want or need to shop for. Honestly, Verishop has it, they have everything. And as I was just telling you guys about how I was making room in my closet for things that I love to wear, I. I have actually picked up a couple pieces from Vera Shop that I will be adding into my closet. So really quickly, I just wanted to share a little haul of what I picked up. The first piece I have been wearing nonstop. It has been one of my favorite accessories and pieces to add onto my outfit to just complete my look. And it is this little necklace that I'm wearing right here. It says kindness. This one comes in, I think a couple different words. So there's kindness, there's strength, there's confidence. And there's a couple other ones, but I chose kindness because I thought it was very cute. It also gave me like Harry Styles vibes. So I loved that. I also got this cute little graphic tee. It says lounge town in colorful letters. And I love the vibe that this had. It gave me very like vintage graphic tee vibes. And I thought this would just be super cute to add to my abundant white tea collection that I have going on. I am always on the hunt for good activewear. And when I saw this adorable mauve workout set, I swooped. It's super cute. It's comfortable. It's wearable. I love how high-waisted it is. And I love how structured the bottoms are. They just really keep everything nice and tight. And these are so perfect for working out, running around, doing errands, just being around the house. And I absolutely love these so much. And the last item in this haul you guys are not ready for. It is so beautiful and it is this gorgeous stone colored trench coat. I have wanted a trench coat for so long and I've just never found the perfect one, the perfect color and the perfect silhouette. I feel like I'm pretty picky about outerwear since I have so much outerwear, I have to be picky now, but a trench coat is something I wanted for so long and this one is just so classic and gorgeous and I think it's going to style so beautifully for the warmer weather winter coming up here in Austin. I am so in love with it. So that's my little mini haul before we dive into the declutter. But if you guys wanna check out Vera Shop or any of the pieces that I shared, you guys can check them out down below. They are doing a ton of sales for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. For Black Friday, they're doing door busters up to 70% and for women's and men's clothing, 25% on everything. There's a ton of sales and deals going on. So if you guys wanna check out that, I will have everything linked below, all the information and the details, as well as links to the pieces that that I shared, so definitely check that out. And the last thing is, if you guys are not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. And now, let's do the ultimate closet cleanup. I'm gonna be going back and forth between this camera and my vlog camera, so we get a nice inside, outside perspective. Words, words. First up, I thought I would give you guys a bit of a closet tour just to show you where everything is and show a breakdown of my closet. So we walk in and first up we've got sleeveless tops. Then we move into cute white crop tops. Then we move into white tees, graphic white tees, colored t-shirts and long sleeves, knits, sweaters. Then we move into blouses. We start off with short sleeve blouses and then move into the fun long sleeve blouses. Then on this back wall, we have dresses. So on this, starting right here, we've got fancier dresses. So things you'd wear to like weddings or events. I don't even know what events are anymore. I... Then over here, we've got casual dresses. So things that you would wear 
casually. And I've also got a couple two-piece sets and jumpsuits over here as well. Then on this wall, we've got oodles of outerwear. We've got windbreakers, corduroy, denim, moto jackets, warm things, and some of my most worn and go-to blazers, as well as some of my coats. Up at the top, we've got most of my purses. Some are downstairs, but this is, I would say like 95% of everything then that's a light. <laughs> that's a light just for this video. This is not usually here. But in this corner, we've got some hats, scarves, and these are like cozy, comfy, like sleeping t-shirt type of things. Over here, we've got bras, socks. Down here, we've got activewear tops and sports bras, activewear bottoms, and activewear outerwear. Down here, we've got sweaters of all sorts. So right here, we've got the blue to gray color spectrum of sweatshirts. These are fun colored knits. These are more classic neutral shade knits. And these are my lighter colored sweatshirts and hoodies. Down here on the right, these are kind of just like more comfy, kind of cozy clothes. These are overalls, bathing suits, and here are shorts. In this basket are where I keep my belts. Out here in my dresser is where I keep all of my jeans. Right now this is kind of sparse because I am currently washing a bunch of stuff. Also in my dresser are my pajamas. These are the warm and cozy ones and these are the more lighter weight and then these are like individual pieces. And in this other closet, which is right across from my closet, this is my husband's closet. Here are all of his shirts and all his pants are in our dresser underneath the TV in our bedroom. And on this side are my trousers and skirts. Here on this like very end are things that I've pulled aside for videos. So they're kind of in like a random spot right now. And behind the door we have blazers and coats. But right now this is kind of all askew too because I, I took things to get dry cleaned and cleaned. So this section is bear. <laughs> Alrighty, that's the tour. That's where everything is. And I know so many of you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, getting to the declutter part already. Don't worry, I'll have chapters below so you can skip through things. But it's finally time for the declutter. So first up, we're going to start right here. There are some tops that gotta go. The first thing I just see in my closet is this bodysuit right here. It is a really cute bodysuit that has these scalloped cups and it actually fits really well on a bust to your chest. Though this is extremely cute and fun, here in Texas, this is just like not something I would just wear out and about. This is something I would have worn in LA to an event or to a get together or a party or something like that. But here, this isn't something that I feel like really suits my style very much or like suits my day-to-day -day life. So this white bodysuit is gonna go. And something I forgot to mention in the intro is that everything I'm decluttering out of my closet, I will be listing on my Depop. I've got some basics, love all of these. Ooh, this is actually the, the twin to the white bodysuit. This one I'm gonna keep because I really, I really like this one in black. I feel like you can dress it down and make it a lot less like statement-y. <sighs> right next to it though. Right next to it though, is a piece that I've known I have needed to get rid of for a long time, but I just didn't want to because I love it so much. This is the most gorgeous black, kind of satiny feeling cami, but it does not fit my bust anymore. Keep, oh, another piece that it's time for it to go. I love this top so much. It is so beautiful, so high quality, but my chest does not fit in it. This is gonna be a reoccurring situation with a lot of these pieces where my bust just doesn't fit. These are some of my just plain white t-shirts. This one has a bit more of a boxy silhouette, so I'm gonna keep that. This one I think I'm going to get rid of because I like, I like these two better. And I do have like my perfect white t-shirt, which is actually in the wash right now. Graphic tees, I like you, I like you. This I'm not getting rid of, but I wanted to show you guys. This is one of my favorite tops. It is the coolest thing. This is a cool graphic tee that I got in Toronto last fall. And though it's really cool, I just don't wear it. This is going to be a go. I just 
just don't wear that often. It's really cute. It's just a simple black cardigan. It's got these really cute pearl buttons, but I am going to pass it on to someone else. This is going to go as well. It's a red corduroy overshirt and it's so cute. It's perfect for fall and winter, but I just, I don't wear it that often. Here's the situation. So these are some of my coolest tops ever. I have it in black. I have it in a pinky mauve. I have it in mustard and I have it in white. Now these I got in the Philippines and I thought they were just so, so cute. And I still think they're so cute, but because I ordered them, I think on Lazada, which is like Amazon of the Philippines, the sizing, the sizing is just so, so small. And when I got them, I was just so sad to see that they like barely fit. And this one like fits the best, but it is still very tight. And it's just like, it's very tight. So I am so sad. I'm gonna let these three go because these are just too tight. And like, they're so cool. Like these are the coolest little button downs, but they gotta go, they don't fit. <laughs> it's so sad. Leah got me this last year for our thrift queen squad secret Santa gift swap and it is so cute. This has those like preppy vibes that are super popular and trendy to style. Like this looks so cute with the tennis skirt. I'm gonna let go of this finally because I just, I can never get it to work for me. It's a gorgeous poof sleeve organza top. It is very sheer and lightweight and flowy. Look at this pile we've got going so far. And we've only gone through like 15 to 20% of my closet so far. We're doing good. Look at all of this space. Wow. Oh, I love this top so, so much. This top though, this one, I just don't wear as much as the other ones. I have quite a few other necktie style tops. So you, my good friend, are going to go. Love this top. This is one of my favorite tops. It has these little bits of shoulder pad, but only in the poof of the sleeve. So it gives a very nice frame and silhouette to you. And the fabric has the most beautiful drape. I mean, like, Look at this, so beautiful, so drapey. This piece is a forever keep. I, I love that top, not much to say on it. You guys know I wear that top probably way too much. I'm working up a sweat. It is, it's hot in here with all the moving, with the lights. Also, I'm wearing a fleece sweater and jeans and cute fuzzy slippers. So it's, it's a warm time for all. It's just me who's here for me. Love it. Love it and love it. Now for dresses. So I know I'm not gonna have too much in the way of dresses that I wanna get rid of, just because like I really like all the dresses that I have. Oh, I did my engagement shoot in this dress. I love this one. I think this dress can go. I just never really reach for it anymore. It's not quite my style. This dress is one that is going to go. I am so sad to let this one go. It is a spaghetti strap wrap dress. The dress is comprised of two different fabrics. So we've got this more like robust, full daisy print on the left and on the right, a more scattered every so often daisy print. And it's a wrap dress. It's a midi length. It's got adjustable straps. It is the perfect spring and summer dress. I have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to get my chest to fit into this dress, but no matter how much I finagle and try, and I've like tried pinning it, I've tried doing so many things, but I just, I can't stay in this. This one I got in the Philippines thrifting and I did not get to try this on because it was just like ukai ukai shopping. In most ukai ukai, which is a thrift store in the Philippines, they don't have like trying on spots. So you kind of just like buy as you go. And I got this really cute 90s spaghetti strap dress and it does not fit my chest again. And then this, it like barely fits my chest, but they are like really trying to escape in this one. So these are both going to find a new home. This one, another one, it's too tight across the chest. This I have to wear like completely unbuttoned and then have some sort of cami or layered top underneath. And that's that for dresses. So now we're gonna move on to outerwear and I don't have Honestly, I don't have that many pieces of outerwear to get rid of. We'll go through still, but I'm not expecting to find too many pieces, but maybe I'll be surprised. 
Who knows? So far, my closet is looking quite sparse. Love you, love you. This, I don't wear that often. This is a pink corduroy overshirt. It's cropped. It's from American Eagle. I love this piece. I really, really do. But I just don't wear it that much. This is gonna go. I don't wear it anymore. Goodbye, green utility style jacket. Oh my gosh, this pile is bodacious. Keep, 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 keep. And that's it for outerwear. Hi, welcome to my floor. So now we're going to dive into the bottom sections. This entire pile I am going to keep. I love all these sweaters so much. And that's that. <laughs> this section is also good. All of my sweater sections are keeps, they are good. I do, however, have a ton of overalls to go through. This one, I love this pair of overalls so much. It is a cream pair of long overalls. They're overall pants. They just don't fit me anymore. So these are gonna be a go. These are a keep. These ones, oh, I love these during the fall. These are a keep. These ones are from Alexa. Alexa gave me these last year, maybe the year before. Again, no concept of time, but these ones have Winnie the Pooh on them and they are so adorable. I love these. Oh, these do not fit on me anymore. And this pair of overalls also do not fit. So all of these are gonna be a goodbye. In this closet, I only have this pair of shoes that I wanna get rid of. This, they're really cool shoes. They make me feel like a spy, but I just don't wear them as much as some of my other black boots. Look at all of these hangers. This is so many hangers. We are decluttering all of the things. This is insane. I knew I had a lot of things that I wanted to declutter, but looking at it visually in a pile, oh my stars and garters, it is so many things. If you guys have not decluttered your closet in a while, this is my sign to you to declutter because it's so freeing and revitalizing and exciting. Those are key. This closet is done. Let's head into my husband slash my other closet. It's like, I have one and a half closets and he has half of one, but, but I promise you guys, that's all he has. He doesn't have anything else. So I was like, I'm not gonna let an empty rack go to waste. So I used it and I could make it work in here. I could fit everything in here, but why have an empty rack when you don't have to? I have called my husband over to come see the pile of stuff we've cleaned out so far. Come forth. Oh my gosh, <laughs> jeez, what is all this? We've got tops, we've got overalls, we've got outerwear we've got literally jeez you've like cleaned house in here yeah is this all stuff you don't want anymore you don't like it yeah well it's it's a lot of stuff that doesn't like fit me anymore and then a lot of it is stuff that's like not my style anymore hmm. wow. so that's what i've got going so far it's that's pretty a... crazy moving on to closet 1.5 we've got trousers and skirts this first pair it's already gonna go so this pair i I freaking love. I love this pair of trousers so much. They are a cream faux leather pant. They are so beautiful. They're from Princess Polly. I love, love them, but they don't fit. I wish I would have sized up and gotten the next size. These I'm also going to get rid of. I'm so sad to let these go because I love these. So I found this pair of white corduroy trousers at a thrift store sometime at the beginning of last year. They are chic and stylish and vintage and cool and they have the perfect high-waistedness to them. And long story short, they don't fit either. When I bought them at the thrift store that I found them at, they didn't have a try-on room. So I kind of just like guesstimated. And at that time, they like barely fit. And now they just like don't fit at all. favorite pairs of pants and Miss Leah Prips got me these for Christmas last year as another item in our thrift swap secret Santa and I love them so much these are like one of my favorite things to wear love these love these love these this piece I am so sad but it is time to let go of it. It is the cutest skirt ever. And I was, and still am, absolutely obsessed with this piece. It is a faux suede brown 
almost leaning towards the air of camel button up mini skirt and this has all of the 70s and 60s vibes to it it is so cute it's fun it's stylish but i don't wear it anymore this skirt is one of my favorite mini skirts and just bottoms in general that i own it is a muted lime green plaid mini skirt. It's a wrap skirt. It buttons on the side with some really cute tortoiseshell buttons and it's just so cute. I absolutely love this piece. Last few things from this closet that I'm going to be getting rid of. This one in particular I am very sad to be letting go of but again it's time. This one is a black velvety mini skirt from Free People. It is so so cute. It's so beautiful especially for the holidays. It has an O-ring zipper in the back. This skirt still fits me actually quite nicely around the waist, but the hemline, I just find it to be too annoying to constantly pull down the hemline and adjust it and fix it. I just actually went to my jeans drawer and just grabbed the pieces out that I was going to be getting rid of because I didn't want to move my whole setup. It's a lot to move, but the pieces that I'm going to be getting rid of, this pair of mom jeans right here. I love the wash of these. They're really gorgeous, kind of vintage inspired mid wash. This pair is so cool. This is a gorgeous pair of dark wash denim. They're high rise, they're from Lee. They've got a very vintage look to them. And for me, because they are long, I actually rolled them up at the hem. Honestly, six to seven inches. I rolled them up quite a bit. Our penultimate piece that I am going to be getting rid of I am incredibly sad to be getting rid of these, but it is time. They were already tight when I got them. I wish I would have sized up to the next size when I bought these, but it was my first time buying from the brand, so I didn't know what the fit was like. And by the time I received them, they had already sold out and they have never restocked since. Coolest little two-tone jeans. They are a kind of yellowish camel and a white. And I love this style so much. And I am so gutted they have never restocked this style because they are so cool. Last up, something a little bit less exciting, but it's this pair of cargo pants. I just don't like the way they sit on me anymore, so eventually I'd like to get a new pair of cargo pants. But for now, I'll just go sans cargo pants. And that's that. You guys are truly just not even ready for this. So I took all of the pieces that I'm decluttering and I put it into one super massive pile. And it is truly a super massive pile. It is so many things. So let's do a little reveal and uh, let's see what this pile looks like. In three, two, one. Oh, a cute little pile, a nice little pile, but wait, it's even bigger. It goes all the way to the bottom all the way to the top. It started off as two separate piles, but then they started like collapsing to the side. So I kind of just popped it off and added some things and made like a little ice cream sundae type of vibe. But oh my goodness, look at all of this. We decluttered all of this. I'm going to guess that there are 37 pieces that I decluttered today. That's my official guess. I'm gonna say 37, but I wanna know what your guys' guesses are. No cheating. Comment down below what your guess is on how many pieces I decluttered today. So pause this video really quick and comment your guess down below and I'll reveal the official number in just a minute. I just finished counting and there are 43 pieces that have gotten decluttered today. So if anybody guessed 43, ding, 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 you won. And I, I'm pretty proud. I'm actually so happy with how this declutter went. I feel like it's so refreshing to have so many pieces out of my closet that I don't like anymore, that don't fit, that don't work for me, that aren't my style anymore, and instead just have my closet be full of things that I love. I also just shot the thumbnail for this video and I tried to hold as many of these pieces as I could. I had my husband on the side and he was just like piling things into my arms. <laughs> and it was so heavy that even balancing everything on my leg like Captain Morgan and having my foot supported by the calyx, my leg was shaking. It was shaking like a leaf in the middle of a gusty winter. It was just shaking like crazy and it was so funny. And at the end of shooting the thumbnail photos, I just, I collapsed. It was just so horrible. And I just like yeeted the clothes back over here and some of them maintained their fold, but some got a little wonky do. So I gotta fix those, be nicely folded. So now I'm gonna head into my office to do the outro of the video because I want my cute Christmas tree in the back. So let's poof over to my office. So that is going to be a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the things that I decluttered today. As I mentioned earlier in the video, everything that I decluttered today will be going up on my Depop, probably 
by the beginning of December. I'm not gonna say any hard dates because the next few weeks are pretty crazy. Again, a huge thank you to Vera Shop for sponsoring today's video. If you guys do a closet clean out like I did, or maybe you're just in need of some new pieces, some good quality basics, some just like cute, nice home things, or maybe you're buying gifts for people, definitely check out Vera Shop. I will have all of the items I shared today, as well as a link in general to their site. Linked below, everything's there check it out. One last thing I wanted to share with you guys that I am so, so excited about is I have started a new weekly vlog. By the time this video goes up, the first weekly vlog should already be live. So make sure you go check that out. And I'm really excited about it. I feel like it's going to be like the coolest thing to just hang out with you guys. And it will be going up every Tuesday, a new weekly vlog. So make sure you guys go check out the first one. And yeah, now for today's quote of the day, I thought I would actually pull a quote from a book that I really love. This is called Grace Not Perfection. It's by Emily Lay. This quote I came across is more so a question that you can pose to yourself to really like think and just like let it sit and marinate in your mind. So today's quote says, who says you have to be so busy all of the time? I think this is really, really, really important, especially during this time of the year. We don't always have to be busy. We don't always have to be having a productive day, a hustling day, a get stuff done. Resting is equally as important, if not more important than having those productive busy days. Because if you're not resting, if you're not taking care of yourself, how are you supposed to get stuff done if you don't have the energy to get stuff done. Make sure that in addition to all the time you're giving to other people and tasks and responsibilities and things, make sure you're also giving time for yourself. So that is something to think on as we enter this holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I love you all lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.